want to welcome in this video i will show you how to make this uh, clean and aesthetic uh, 3d view by using displacement lines and displacement elements also going to show you how to do it step by step in the visibility graphics to become uh, this uh, view so let's get straight into it this is the model that we are going to make uh, clean looking and aesthetic just some uh, walls in 3d that you see a uh, really simple um, model building so let's start with um, the levels well first of all uh, we're gonna use it by the visibility graphics so uh, vv uh, then you have uh, right here the annotation categories we go to levels right here you can check this box apply okay so in this video we're gonna work a lot with the uh, visibility uh, uh, graphics that's actually the good way uh, to do that well the next thing is um, make the background a solid color so how do we get there a uh, very simple we go to the visual style graphic display options and right here on the background you have uh, here you have the background then the background is set to none we're gonna set it to gardens but we only want color want one color so the three colors will be the same so we're gonna select this blue voila voila oh now this one apply and boom voila our background is the color that we want why do we pick the uh, yeah, three same colors well because it's a gradient if you do another color right here voila this will uh, look like this but we don't want that <laughs> so we're gonna stick with one color click apply and okay so that's already step one that we have so the next thing that we are going to do is to make the model and the uh, walls white so how do we do that simply well right here you go to uh, visual style again and instead of consistent colors we go with hidden colors and a uh, boom voila now we can uh, begin with uh, walls and floors to add colors to it and that will be by the visibility graphic menu we're gonna start with the walls i will put my model a bit to the right oh, voila there we have it now we're gonna use vv for uh, visibility uh, graphics now we're gonna search right here in our uh, model category we're gonna search for walls walls voila now right here it's important what we uh, pick we don't want to pick the surface but we want to pick what we cut so right here that's what we cut so we go to patterns we're gonna make a solid color and we will be uh, using foreground why else the pattern will still be visible and we don't want that we're gonna make a solid fill do it darker okay apply and boom there you have it see that darker blue but we still have the dark uh, or the black lines that we don't want that we want it also in the light blue so right here lines cut we go to override then we will go to uh, light blue voila click ok apply and voila there we uh, have it if you want all the lines to be in the blue just click on shift override again click on the color that you want apply apply and voila everything is in light uh, blue now the next thing that we're going to is right again the floors here also so we go instead of walls we go to floors voila we're gonna set uh, we're gonna select all of it override now the light blue for the lines click ok apply so the lines you see already changing now we do uh, for a solid fill we make it darker ok apply and boom there you have it it's already looking uh, very nice now here we have here we have a slab edge so we go to slab edge voila here we're gonna do the color again solid fill uh, dark blue voila click ok apply and there we have it that's already looking uh, very uh, nice 
So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, using the displacement uh, option so it looks uh, a bit nicer. For displacement options, options is very simple. You just select one element and right here on the modify tab you have here displacement elements. So you click on it, then you just use this key right here, the arrow, just draw it where you want. We're gonna draw it to here, voila, very nice. We're gonna do that the same for this one. Again, right here, displace elements on the arrow again. We will use it or leave it right here and then just move it a little bit further away. Same for the curtain wall, we're gonna use um, displacement options now again we're gonna move it away from here we're gonna do the same for this one but then upwards again displacement elements now we're gonna use the blue key to go up voila and there we have it now we only need to uh, set some um, <coughs> displacement lines so the next thing next thing that we're going to do is select a element or this element it doesn't matter and now we're gonna um, show uh, the path to where it belongs so right here you have path click on it and now we can just go right here and just click by it and voila voila and that's how it really works so you have your displacement paths now we can do that for the other one so we're gonna set one here and one here so we see it uh, nicely so see how it's coming alive this is really oh, really looking beautiful got z a so it's at the center of my screen and that's how we use this displacement paths for the displacement elements now we can give some finishing touches like the displacement paths are black we will change the color by going to visibility graphics by clicking uh, by uh, shortcut vv then we go again to annotation categories we go to displacement pad right here we click on override and we will use our dark color dark blue okay click apply and that's already looking uh, uh, very nice now we have still some black lines right here and we also want it in blue well the fastest way to do that is just select everything then right click override graphics and view by element and then we go to projection lines add the dark blue voila apply okay and boom there it is it's looking very nice now I see I forgot to uh, for the curtain wall panels and the beam so I will first do that by visibility graphics then curtain oh, uh, curtain panels click override solid fill the dark blue okay the lines I will use light blue voila okay apply so that's changed very nice and now i go and go structural and i need the structural framing right here i'm gonna use uh, the dark blue also voila click ok and for the lines i will also use the dark blue because they are so thin that they will interfere each other and click apply and nicely done see very nice ho -ho. now guys um i hope you enjoyed the video uh, like share and subscribe and this is how you make a aesthetic 3d view within a few steps